Well, anarchism was a movement developed in the middle of the 19th century, and it was the social thinker Frenchman, uh, Proudhon, who was the first to call himself an anarchist. And he, he was being particularly paradoxical and provocative by uh, arguing that, uh, that um, property is theft and anarchy is order. Wanting to point out that it's, it's, uh, it's rulers and government and states which are the principal cause of uh, disorder in society. Whereas uh, a society without government and the state would be an ordered and um, a convivial and uh, um, fulfilling way of life. He also, I think, made a very, very profound point that uh, liberty is the mother and not the daughter of, of uh, order. That uh, it's from liberty that order, true, a genuine order, emerges from a state, a condition of, of, of freedom. But uh, I've argued in my book, Demanding the Impossible and, and elsewhere, that uh, there is a sort of anarchist sensibility, which I think is very, um, very much part of, of being human. And it's something which, that all humans love freedom, unless they have become voluntary slaves. Um, unless they have been so brainwashed into thinking that they can't manage on their own. Uh, but we can see it with, with other creatures, you know, how, they, how they, 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 um, they fall ill in captivity. And I think well, that's probably the case for most human beings. And historically, there's been a... You can see there's probably from, from the time we did start settling down into... Uh, in, uh, into a, an agricultural way of life, that there's been um, two st st strands which have developed, so authoritarian strand and a libertarian strand or tendency. And different parts of the world have encouraged different aspects, and, and for different periods in history as well. But this, uh, this uh, the, what I call an anarchist, sens anarchist sensibility, is that sensibility which which loves to be free, which which wants to 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 manage their uh, affairs with with together in a cooperative way. Um, but you can look at the earlier. I don't think anarchism is linked to any particular metaphysics or philosophy or religion. And you can look at um, very clear antecedents to um, the historical anarchist movement, uh, right back to, to in, in different traditions in China and in in, in India and. Um, particularly, for instance, and in Greece in, in early days. But uh, if you looked, for instance, in China, the, the Taoists, who, um, who around about the 5th century, the, day that Lao Tzu the, was associated with particular um, uh, texts which were beginning to be written down, that uh, it's very clear-cut. They had, a, had a, a, a sense of this anarchist sensibility. They, they believed that the, the Tao is, is really the way of nature. It's so no one can quite describe what the Tao is, because how can, for instance, a frog describe the ocean? Now, we are in a position of being frogs in that sense, so we don't un fully understand the nature of the universe. But we know that we can, we can observe the way of, of the universe, the way of nature. We can see that it's in a constant flow, and that, and that to align ourselves with it, um, rather than blocking it, is the best way for ourselves and for nature. And um, so they had that understanding, and they, they were very open and receptive to nature. And they, um, they realized it was absurd to try and control and, uh, nature, um, and, and also try and control humans with ru rules and regulations. And um, Chuang Si, for instance, um, wrote a wonderful line saying that to try and govern humans with la laws and regulations is like trying to wade through the ocean, trying to, like a, try, like a mosquito, trying to carry away a mountain. It simply can't be done. So that they were very, they had a very strong anarchist sensibility of wanting to let alone, uh, not only for nature to take its benefit, beneficial course, but also humans to get on with their lives. And so they were opposed to, to any coercive 
authority and, and ruling. And, and now as Lao, Lao Tse pointed out, that uh, who called for very much a decentralised society of, of um, self-managing um, uh, villages, and, and, uh, that, that uh, the more um, rules and regulations, then the poorer people become. And the sharper men's weapons, the more trouble there is in the land. So for me, this is a very clear anarchist uh, line. And the, um, uh, you can see even, and also with, with Buddhism, which was a, a, an offshoot of Hinduism in India, when it developed in China into Zen, and Japan to Zen Buddhism, <coughs> there is a, uh, there's a strong, particularly in Zen, anarchistic um, sensibility, in that they uh, would, uh, uh, recommended people should work out their salvation with diligence, and uh, that there's actually no need for scriptures and for um, teachers, and that we can liberate ourselves from our conditioning, and that's whether it's cultural, psychological, and that we can become so self, um, self-disciplined, uh, 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 free, wi free, freely moving wheels, um, but without denying living within the community. Even within in, in Christianity, there's also uh, a, a, a anarchist um, to element, libertarian element, and even you know the Christian anarchists, as Tolstoy was, uh, and I think they can they develop that they can see that you can trace that to the to the way that um, original teachers like Jesus or Buddha or Lao Tzu they recommended giving up possessions, uh, living in a state of love and forgiveness. Um, and doing no harm, turning the other cheek, and uh, and pulling what goods you had, which the early Christians did. But in all these cases, you ha when when the, when the uh, religion becomes a um, organised institution, then you have the development of hierarchies, and you can see that in Buddhism today, in certain parts, and in in the Taoism in China. Although it's it's um, Confucianism has pushed forward. And also uh, obviously in Christianity. But uh, but but within the within the tradition to Christian tradition, if you look emphasize for instance as Saint Aquinas did, that he said love and do what you will. And um a uh, and there's no authority but God. So they would reject temporal or, or, or authority on earth or governments and states and, and um, kings. Um, and certainly in the Middle Ages, you had this uh, millenarian anarchist, uh, anarchistic movements, the bro Brotherhood of the Free Spirit, um, who uh, wanted to create a societies without church and, and state, without laws. They felt they in this, that Jesus had come and, and they were now in a state of grace, and therefore they could do, they, they, well, they could fulfil their desires uh, because they were they were positive, and uh, they that. That, that comes through in, in during the English uh, Revolution with the ranters and, and uh, the diggers. We felt that what they called the righteousness was sufficient, and uh, they wanted to pull their their goods. And um, as Win Stanley said, you know, freedom is uh, every, all men stand for freedom because freedom is the man who would turn the world upside down, as it was at that time. Uh, Turn up the, uh, up the monarchy, and uh, so there are there. Th this anarchist sensibility was certainly has been within. Uh, it's been part of the human experience um, for, 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 for thousands of years, and people did li have lived and still live in many parts of the world in states of anarchy, without in in a, in, a, in, a, in a condition of anarchy, without states and government. Even within existing states, in, in highly uh, in advanced industrial societies, people can live within the niches and cracks, and in, in an in a, in a anarchistic way. Uh, so that sensibility is there, and people don't have to have read um, about anarchism, but, but they actually live it themselves, because that's part of their, their being. <coughs>